today we are back for, this is like part two of this Walking Dead filming locations, but today, there's first off, there's not going to be quite as many. Yesterday was a fully loaded video. There was a lot of locations slam-packed all into that one video. There's going to be less today. Today we're going to be looking at some of the locations where some of your favorite characters from the TV show The Walking Dead, the places where they died. The Walking Dead has always been one of those shows that uh, if you like a character, you they'll kill them off very easily. And they have proven that time and time again over its 10 season span. I think they're on season 10. Maybe they're on 11. Not sure. Either way though, this is going to be an interesting video. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead, you'll really enjoy this one. Either way though, I'm inviting all of you to join me on this adventure to find all of these popular death locations from The Walking Dead. This should be a lot of fun. So today I am back in, uh, well it's like Coweta County, around in that area. It's like this large location. Uh, there's a bunch of towns, uh, Sonoya, Griffin, Hampton, Covington, Georgia is not that far away, and Jackson and Monticello. It's lots of all these towns right around in this one area. Just outside of Sonoya, Georgia is the Walking Dead Studios. As we talked about yesterday, the Walking Dead Studios, it was also used as the prison from season three. While they filmed in the prison, we watched the deaths of Lori, T-Dog, Herschel, and the governor. Back when Raleigh Studios purchased the land, all the property that now is the Walking Dead Studios, on that lot of land, there was an old farmhouse. They would go on to use that farmhouse throughout season two as Herschel's family farm. There, we got to see the deaths of one, uh, he was a very popular character on The Walking Dead, Dale. And then, in the season finale, Rick was forced to kill Shane, and then Carl killed Zombie Shane. Up the Greenfield, you can see where they now have built the new Hilltop set, which is massive. Then below that is the former prison. Just to the south of the prison slash studio building there, there is an opening in the trees. And then you can see a building right beside it. Now that building is Father Gabriel's church, which is another set they built just for filming. And in that church building, we got to witness Bob's death, as well as the death of Gareth, who he was the bad guy from terminus now out in front of the church in that opening that's where they filmed one of the biggest scenes in walking dead history not only is it where they introduce negan to the show but we also witnessed the deaths of abraham and glenn both of which died at negan's hand with his barbed wire baseball bat that he called lucille but it was a huge moment for The Walking Dead. Glenn was probably one of the most popular characters ever on the show. This isn't the only time that we are going to talk about Glenn's death today because in the third episode of season six, two guys, Glenn and Nicholas, they are walking through town. They walk past a building which used to sit right here and I apologize for the glare, but a building used to sit right here on this lot that was all busted up and burnt down. And as they walk, you can see this same metal staircase here. They walk right past it as they head back into the alley. If you are a fan of The Walking Dead, especially season six, you might know what I'm getting at here, which location I am at. This was a big deal 
for everyone who's fans of The Walking Dead. A big deal. They still have the painted outline of Nicholas here on the ground. But what happened in that episode is uh, Nicholas and Glenn make their way up the alley here. Walkers are closing in on them and they're, uh, they're forced to climb up on a dumpster that they had positioned right here. They had a fence. They put up, now this was just for filming. Obviously, as you can tell, it doesn't look the same. They had a fence they put up right here running across and they had this giant metal dumpster sitting right here on this spot. The, the walkers, there's too many of them. They're never gonna get away. Nicholas winds up fatally shooting himself and he falls off the dumpster and he drags Glenn with him. Now, this was their first major fake out on The Walking Dead because they made everyone believe that Glenn died. That they, they, the way they did the camera cuts and stuff, they made you think Glenn was dead right here in this alley at the dumpster. But he wasn't. They tell you in episode seven that Glenn had actually slid underneath the dumpster and he stayed there until he could come out. And Glenn was still alive. Glenn was a fan favorite. And uh, they tricked everyone right here. This, that, this was the spot where all of that went down. They even have it marked. Man, there was an uproar. People went nuts thinking that Glenn had died. And the producers of the show were just loving it. They knew that Glenn wasn't dead, obviously, because they had already filmed all the whole season. And they were loving it. There's a building right here. Noah, who he was a fan favorite actually, he died at the front door to that building. There's one of those round turntable doors there. Uh, that's the spot where they filmed Noah's death. Oh my God. That's the spot where Noah died, right there. Way back in season two, we were introduced to Herschel's family, which included Maggie and Beth. They were sisters. And then over the following seasons, everyone became invested in their stories and their attempts to stay alive. They were big time fan favorites. But in the mid-season finale of season five, Beth was being held hostage by the cops. That went down right here inside of this building. During a trade that was organized by Rick, Beth was shot and killed. They filmed a scene where you can see Daryl carrying her body out from this door right here in front of us as Maggie and everyone else behind them weeps. This hospital, former hospital, abandoned hospital, whatever you want to call it, this was also the location where Rick exits the hospital in the very first episode of The Walking Dead. And he comes out of this door here on the left and goes down those stairs and there's like bodies laying all over the ground everywhere. In season three of The Walking Dead, there was a scene filmed right here at where these silos are, at this feed mill, where Rick and the governor were fighting. And Daryl's brother, Merle, this is the spot where he was killed. <laughs> oh, and then he came back as a zombie and Daryl had to kill the zombie Merle, that all went down right here.
before Andrea's death, we're back in Sonoya, Georgia. And right here where this rock structure is, inside of this old dilapidated structure, this is where they filmed the scenes of Andrea getting bitten by the walker and then uh, she ultimately shot herself so that she would not turn into a zombie. They filmed all of those scenes inside of this structure. Carl, who was Rick's son, was bitten and then like Andrea, he would go on to take his own life before he could turn into a zombie and then kill all of his friends and family inside of Alexandria. All of those scenes of Carl's death and everything were shot right here inside of this cabin below us. I love you, Dad. And then Sasha, she took a pill that Eugene had made and it it was to kill herself. Her plan was is that when Negan opened the casket, she would be able to attack him and hopefully kill him so he couldn't hurt any of her friends. Right here inside of the gate, this is where Negan opened the door, the lid to the casket and Sasha zombie came out and attacked him. It was shot right here inside of the front gate. I'm off out here just at this remote site in Griffin. Um, just some train tracks around me. Not a whole lot else. A few industrial places. And there was a scene filmed here in season six. You see Denise and Daryl, they're walking up the train tracks here. You can see these three, this is the roll up doors to uh, tractor trailers right there that are blue. They still look exactly the same. You can see the splits in the tracks here and even these buildings over here in that shot. They go down the tracks just a little bit further here. You see where it splits right here in front of us. And then just past where it splits, that's where Denise died. She was shot in the head with Daryl's bow right through the eye, man. That's the spot right there, man, where that happened at. And you're both really good people, and if you don't wait up. In episode 15 of season nine, they filmed a scene where we see that Alpha has killed 10 people. She decapitated them and then put their heads on pikes for the survivors to find. Two of which, two of the heads that were on the pikes were characters that had been on the show for a long time and they both had a following. Enid was one of them. She had been a regular on The Walking Dead for five seasons. And then Tara, who, had been a major cast member all the way back since season four. Both of them were decapitated by Alpha and their heads on pikes, which was a crazy scene because you never saw, especially Tara's death, you never saw that coming. Now, the area where they filmed that is private property, so you can't get back there. But if I zoom in, if you look at this hill that's back here in the background, that's where they filmed that scene where the the guys are walking up the hill and they see the heads on the pikes if you notice the the steep hill there that they climb and then you can see the the trees at the bottom of the hill which would have been behind them that's the spot where they filmed that heads on the pike scene but this is as close as you can get to it without going on to someone's property our last location of this very long day driving all around is a big one. It comes from season nine of The Walking Dead. It was Rick's last episode on The Walking Dead. They do a fake out, basically. Well, they make you think Rick's dead. But this is the bridge. Rick, you know, he's been impaled and the walkers are following him. You can see him come past these metal rails here. 
and he gets up and the walkers hadn't got to him yet so he continues moving across and they made it look like the bridge was just under construction they had beams falling over in this wood platform there was stuff up on the sides of it they made it seem as if the bridge was under construction when all of when everything happened so as you can see uh, this is a, a popular spot for young kids because it was used in the filming so they come and they have completely destroyed it uh, this is the spot right here Rick he you know kind of hobbles his way across the bridge here somewhere over in here there was a like a little tra uh, wagon or something that had some dynamite on it and he shot it which caused an explosion I found him Now that explosion was all done computer generated and even the water because underneath it you could see the water was like racing uh, all that was computer generated as well none of it was real off of the bridge down here below they filmed several things one was where Rick floated up on shore it's they found a spot around the back here and you see the rest of his crew down here they point the camera like right here in the same direction and then you can just see the tops of the heads and the upper torsos of the zombies walking across and then rick was over here and they could see him it was a big scene and it was a monumental part of the show it all went down right here on this bridge man it's been a long day checking out all these filming locations for the walking dead I'm going to end it there, though. We got to see a lot of cool places, so it's a good, good stopping point right here. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, go down and click that subscribe button. Take it a step further. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. How's it going? Big truck passing me by. If you want to help support the channel, you can check out the links in the description box below for that. That's always much appreciated, and it helps us keep making videos just like this and other things. Thank you all. I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Much love to you all.